Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about 28 problems in chapter 2. In this one, it gives us a list of data and asks us to find the velocity at acceleration as a function of time. So it tells us some very important information. It tells us the initial velocity, right? It basically starts from stationary and then it moves in a straight line. So this one, it gives us a table. Uh, we need to find its velocity and acceleration. There, I would like to explain that in the Excel. Uh, so then we can see in this Excel, this is the uh, time t, this is the uh, displacement. We just uh, copy the number there and there. So in this one, if we plot the xt graph, it looks like that. We see in the st graph, the slope is the uh, velocity. Agree? So from this picture, we can see the velocity is become larger, larger, and larger. So it's speeding up. So in this one, if we, because it tells us it starts from stationary, then we can find the velocity at each point of time. So in this one, the velocity is final displacement minus initial displacement and divided by time taking. Agree? Yes. So then we drag it. We get all the calculations for the velocity. And then we plot a graph for VT graph. It looks like this one. So velocity with time, it, this velocity get bigger and bigger, speeding up. And also it looks very like it is linear. So if we consider this is linear, we can find its function. There, interception, zero. So we just need to find a slope. So for this slope, we can see this is six. And this one is around 28, right? So 28 divided by 6. How much? 28 divided by 6, less than 5, around 4, agree? So in this one, we can find is 4.5t, v equal to 4.5t, around that. And then we can also find the acceleration at each time period. So at the initial it is zero. And then we find because acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taking. This, oh no, this one. This one. Yes. This one. Right? Yes. See? Then drag it. See, it tells us at the very beginning, the acceleration is small, 1.7, then it is around 5, 4 or 5, and then finally it is 3. So we can see it looks like this one, the acceleration with time t. That's all. Thank you.